Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Heavy bombers are integral to military aviation, designed to deliver the largest payloads of air-to-ground weaponry over the longest distances possible. Originally dominating the skies as the most powerful aircraft, heavy bombers were characterized by their substantial size and capability. Historically, these aircraft played a pivotal role in shaping military strategy, particularly through their evolution from delivering thousands of pounds of conventional bombs to carrying nuclear weapons. This transformation was propelled by significant advancements in aircraft design, notably in power plants and aerodynamics, allowing these machines to carry heavier payloads without a corresponding increase in size. Originally designed to match the speed of a fighter jet with the bomb-carrying capacity of a heavy bomber, the B-1 Lancer stands as a remarkable feat of military engineering. Dreamt up in the 1960s, its mission was ambitious, to rival the Mach 2 speed of the B-58 Hustler while delivering the payload capacity and range of the B-52 effectively replacing both aircraft. The design contest was fiercely competitive, but Rockwell International, which would later become part of Boeing, emerged victorious with its B-1A model. This prototype was not just fast, reaching Mach 2.2 at high altitudes, but also versatile capable of long missions at Mach 0.85 when flying low. With firmly established technical specifications and strategic prowess, examining the intense and meticulous preparation that underpins each mission is important. Pilots of this formidable aircraft undergo rigorous training that is as much about mastering the jet's controls and responses as it is about strategic mission planning. The preparation for a sortie begins long before the Lancer takes to the skies, involving flight checks and briefings and the critical loading of its ordnance. The B-1B's vast arsenal is made for precision and adaptability, delivering a variety of payloads to handle multiple target types and mission requirements. Capable of carrying up to 75,000 pounds of ordnance across three internal bomb bays, the aircraft can be equipped with a combination of precision-guided missiles and bombs. This includes advanced weaponry, such as the AGM-154 Joint Standoff Weapon, the AGM-158C Long-Range Anti-Ship Missile, and the AGM-158 Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile. For more direct engagement, it can deploy an array of general-purpose bombs like the Mark 82 and specialized munitions such as the Mark 62 Quick Strike Sea Mines and various types of cluster bomb units. Each payload is carefully chosen and loaded based on the mission's objectives, highlighting the strategic flexibility that the B-1B brings to the modern battlefield. This detailed and deliberate ordnance management ensures that when the Lancer lifts off, it is not just performing a flight, but executing a carefully orchestrated battle plan. Rockwell B-1 Lancer boasts an incredible speed and maneuverability 
thanks largely to its four General Electric F101 after-burning turbofan engines. Each engine delivering a dry thrust of 17,390 pounds and an impressive 30,780 pounds with afterburners engaged allows the bomber to perform high-speed operations and extend its range with rapid acceleration. The F-101's design features an advanced compressor system with a two-stage fan and a nine-stage high-pressure compressor, enhancing its air intake and compression efficiency across different flying conditions. Inside these powerhouses, an annular combustor promotes more uniform and efficient fuel burning. At the same time, the turbine section, comprising a one-stage high-pressure turbine and a two-stage low-pressure turbine, optimally converts exhaust gases into mechanical energy. This setup maximizes thrust and ensures fuel efficiency, with a specific fuel consumption rate of 0.562 pound-force per hour in dry mode, which jumps to 2.46 pound-force per hour when the afterburners are on. The overall pressure ratio of 26.8 to 1 and a thrust to weight ratio of 7.04 to 1 with afterburners highlight the engine's powerful output relative to its weight, underpinning the B-1's prowess as a highly responsive and capable strategic bomber. Once airborne, the B-1 Lancer becomes a formidable force in the sky almost guaranteeing that its targets will be neutralized. After executing its mission and deploying its payload with precision, the aircraft sets course back to its home base. The B-1's landing process is as impressive as its offensive capabilities. Approaching the runway at a speed of 150 knots, the aircraft employs its advanced braking systems to bring its massive frame to a stop. Remarkably, even with its significant weight and size, the B-1 can safely halt within a distance of 3,500 to 4,000 feet. This capability demonstrates the bomber's engineering excellence and ensures its readiness for rapid deployment and retrieval in the demands of modern warfare. Joint military exercises like Amalgam Dart 2102 running from March 20th through 26th across vast regions from the Beaufort Sea to Maine are vital for honing the defense skills of NORAD alongside Canadian, U.S., and NATO forces. These exercises emphasize coordination and readiness in challenging environments like the Arctic. B-1 bombers often require escorts from fighter jets, such as the U.S. Air Force's F-16s and Royal Canadian Air Force CF-18s during such operations. These fighters protect the bombers from aerial threats, allowing them to focus on their mission of delivering payloads effectively. The exercise also integrates various support aircraft, including refuelers and early warning aircraft, to ensure a comprehensive defense strategy, showcasing the integrated capabilities of multinational forces.
Interception is similar to air refueling. It typically occurs when a military aircraft approaches another, often with a civilian aircraft that has entered national airspace without proper clearance, ventured into restricted zones, or experienced communication failures. Standard international procedures regulate these interactions to ensure safety and compliance with legal airspace rules. Military aircraft interceptions also occur when an aircraft enters the airspace of another country. One such example happened on August 28, 2020, when two Russian Su-27 flanker pilots approached a U.S. Air Force B-52 bomber. The B-52 was flying routine operations over the Black Sea in international waters and following all international flight rules. Despite this, the Russian jets performed dangerous maneuvers very close to the B-52, coming within 100 feet multiple times and using afterburners. This created significant turbulence and made it hard for the B-52 to maneuver safely. This incident highlights the challenges and dangers of military planes flying near each other in disputed international airspace. The interception of aircraft such as the B-52 Stratofortress by military jets from other nations often stems from the bomber's formidable reputation on the battlefield. Designed by Boeing and operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s, the B-52 is a long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber carrying up to 70,000 pounds of weapons. Its significant payload capacity and a typical combat range of about 8,800 miles without aerial refueling showcase its strategic importance. Additionally, the B-52's design includes eight engines mounted in pairs on four pylons beneath the wings enhancing its aerodynamic stability and delaying stall onset. Designed by Boeing and operated by the United States Air Force since the 1950s, the B-52 is a long-range, subsonic, jet-powered strategic bomber with a significant arsenal. Originally, it featured a 20mm M61 Vulcan cannon in a remote-controlled tail turret, though this was removed in 1991. It can carry approximately 70,000 pounds of mixed ordnance, including bombs, mines, and missiles across various configurations. Additionally, the B-52's aerodynamics are enhanced by eight engines mounted in pairs on four pylons beneath the wings, improving stability and delaying stall onset. The bomber's advanced avionics suite includes the electro-optical viewing system, which incorporates forward-looking infrared and high-resolution, low-light-level television sensors. It also includes modern targeting systems such as the Lightning Advanced Targeting System and the Sniper Advanced Targeting Pod. These sophisticated technologies, managed by an IBM AP101 computer, further augment the B-52's operational capabilities, ensuring its continued relevance in modern aerial warfare.
These capabilities have made the B-52 a symbol of U.S. military strength, leading some nations to perceive it as a threat, particularly when it operates near their airspace. This was evident in the August 2020 incident over the Black Sea, where Russian Su-27s intercepted a B-52 during routine operations in international waters. The aggressive maneuvers by the Russian pilots highlight the ongoing geopolitical tensions and the strategic challenges associated with operating military aircraft in contested areas of the global airspace. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.